Welcome back. Today we're going to do a rate cumulative forecast using a rate cumulative decline curve analysis. What we're going to do is we're going to put our data on here and then we're going to forecast to an economic limit and then um, determine our oil reserves, our gas reserves, and then ultimately our EURs of both our gas and oil streams. So this is set up kind of like our rate time. I mean, very similar. Um, but one thing we're doing different is we're taking uh, cumulative production and plotting it against rate. And right here I have a logarithmic scale. It doesn't have to be that, but uh, for today uh, we're going to keep it logarithmic. So the first step we want to do is determine our cumulative production. So over here we have our rate data. We also have our cumulative gas produced on this column. We want to determine our cumulative oil. So how do we do that from our monthly rate? Um, we simply just uh, do kind of like a running sum. So we take the previous value and we add it to the new value. And we carry that down and we get our cumulative production. So that's how we do that. And I've already pre-formatted the graph. And we can see here that our data is plotted on here and then we have a forecast up here, which is simply just going to be um, just random values. I can change that to uh, a different multiple and it'll shrink this or extend it. I'm going to keep it at 1.05. And uh, we have the same arguments. We have uh, Q, I, D, I, and B. Here I'm just going to put in random values for now. But we're going to run Solver and have it uh, basically use those as design variables and uh, do a uh, regression analysis to fit our data. So right now our graph looks pretty rough, but uh, what we want to do is we want to compare these rates to our model. So we have to create another column right here. And we're actually going to call this, um, use a function called ARPS rate from QM. And if you look over here, that is simply going to be uh, one of these two equations, um, it's Excel VBA logic, but these are your ARPS equations where you get a rate from a QM. In this case, um, we're getting it from our QM oil production. Uh, gas production and oil production in the ARPS equations are interchangeable, pretty much the same thing. Uh, so what we did in the natural gas analysis, uh, you pretty much do the same exact procedure here. And it takes our QI, DI, B boundary dominated, and it takes, uh, shows here to take cumulative gas production, but we know we're doing oil, so we're going to use cumulative oil production. And I selected the wrong piece there. And we actually want to freeze these. Those are going to be constants. And then we will carry that all the way down. So now we have our model here that's plotted uh, on there. Uh, this graph is pre-formatted. You can uh, tell right here. And so what we have here is we have our uh, predicted values now from our model equation and then we have the difference uh, basically it's just the absolute relative absolute difference between our model and the actual rates so we have our model set up and we've summed all the errors all the way down in this case um, that's our errors right there and what we want to do next is we want to actually fit it to our data. Um, so you can see here 
um, it looks like um, on this rate cumulative plot we have some transient action going on here so I'm actually going to start instead of starting at, at uh, summing our errors at these points I'm going to go down to, to this point right here point four we'll start there and we can actually start I'm going to start one point over right here and so we have our sum of our errors but you can play with that uh, however you want to do it uh, that's your decision so now next thing we want to do is we want to um, run regression using solver by minimizing this error by changing our uh, model parameters in this case we have three model parameters so if we go to data solver our objective is this cell right here the sum of our errors and then we want to minimize that by changing QI, DI, and B. We run Solver. And you can see that our model uh, fits our data. Our errors have been uh, minimized. So Solver determined that these values um, minimize the errors. Um, so that looks pretty good. and looks like a pretty good fit. So we're going to go with it. Uh, the next thing we want to do is determine reserves. So once we've got our model fit, we want to um, determine uh, our EUR from our forecast line. And if you remember on a rate cumulative production plot, we basically we can determine our EUR from the, the graph uh, because we have uh, cumulative production plot on the x-axis. We go down to our economic rate. We go over and where we intersect our forecast is going to be our EUR. So in this case, um, I wrote a VBA function for that. The VBA function is going to be um, one of these two equations right here. Uh, we'll go into it, but it's, it's uh, ARPS equations. It's this equation rearranged uh, where we have uh, cumulative gas solve for cumulative uh, oil production and if you remember um, in ARPS cumulative gas, cumulative oil, they're interchangeable so that's what we have there so that's what this VBA function I'm about to type in is going to just use these two equations um, it's going to use some if-then logic depending on B the value of B in this case is 0.343 so we're going to be using this equation and that's taken into account by the programming logic it's called cumulative production and it's going to take QI, DI, and B and you want to freeze those. In this case, um, Q is going to be our economic limit. So in this equation, uh, Q will be our economic limit rate, which we determined in the previous video uh, using our fundamental or basic economic analysis. In this case, um, using these parameters up here that drive the economic rate we determined it was going to be 200 stock take barrels per month this should be a monthly rate and so we t determined our EUR directly from the graph using our economic rate now we can determine our reserves our reserves is simply going to be um, our EUR minus what we've produced up to this point so this is going to be the uh, last this last point on our uh, of our data right here uh, the the X value so now we've determined our oil reserves now we can go determine our gas reserves so if you remember in the previous video we used a specialized plot um, cumulative gas production versus cumulative oil production and we forecasted we fit 
the constant GOR line first and then we fit the later uh, data which was going to be essentially rising GOR and uh, we got a uh, function um, uh, in the form of a power function we f we fit that now we can determine um, the EUR of our gas and uh, all you have to do is put in the EUR of your oil in this equation and then you'll get the EUR of your gas produced using this line right here this blue line and so I wrote a VBA function for that it's called EUR uh, GP from MP it's going to take our intercept of our blue line so M2 I'm sorry it's going to take GP int freeze that it's going to take M2, the slope of our blue line, and GPN is the intercept of our blue line, and then the EUR we calculated right here. So bang, we got our gas EUR right there. Now we want to determine our reserves, but before we do that, we have to calculate uh, the cumulative gas production up to uh, today this point in time and so you just take the maximum of the column which is going to be the last point and then we can calculate a reserve simply by taking our EUR and subtracting it from our gas produced and you can see here um, we got our gas reserves our oil reserves we got it from this plot right here and uh, you know we can change our forecast line um, in this case uh, just change the value of this and it'll change uh, this line but there we have it guys um, that's it we basically um, we, we took our cumulative rate decline curve and we fit our ARPS equations and then from there we were able to calculate our, ga our oil EUR and then subsequently our oil reserves and then our, oil, our gas EUR and then subsequently our gas reserves and so um, you can see here we did our rate time and our rate cume and we do get different results slightly different results um, in this case our rate cum predicted a uh, higher number of reserves but you know that that really depends on how uh, solver uh, determines our QI DIMB um, but uh, this is an analysis that uh, you would do on a well that's exhibiting boundary dominated flow so now that we've completed our analysis I'm going to just step into the code um, just to, to show you kind of how you could set it up but we did rate cube and you can see here this is the same code that I used in my um, gas uh, series uh, natural gas series same function man um, so GP and, it, and MP are interchangeable and you can see that we applied some if then logic uh, to basically say that if B is equal to 1, then um, we use this equation. If B is not equal to 1, we use this equation right here. And so that's what we've done here. Um, so, uh, yeah, that, that's... Uh, and then we had another function that we used called cumulative production. This is our cumulative production code. You can see here it takes QIDIB and uh, rate. And uh, so we're just using if B is equal to 1, then we use this equation. If B is not equal to 1, we use this equation. And so that's, um, you can just see how. Um, how simple it is that's basically what I wanted to show is how simple it is to write these functions uh, to do this analysis and uh, 
so guys that that's uh, pretty straightforward and the other equation we use to predict our gas reserves and our gas EU well predict our gas EUR was that exponential function um, so this is the function we used um, it takes the slope of our second blue line and then um, our oil EUR and then the intercept of our blue line and uh, it's just a one-liner guys real simple I hope you enjoyed the video there's more stuff to come and uh, so guys I'll see you next time adios